In this question, they ask us which linear equation represents a line containing the point 1, 3. So they're giving us this point, right? The point P, 1, 3. We'll call it P, 1, 3. And this point has to be on one of the four lines they give us because the idea is that, let's say you have, here's a rough sketch of a coordinate grid, and then we have this point 1 and then 1, 2, 3. So here's our point right here. Oops, wrong tool. Right here is point 1, 3. Well, if the point is, is on the line, which you know, we, can draw any we can draw any number of lines going through this, but let's say this is the line right here. Well, that means that point is a solution for the line, right? The line is defined by all these points that are on it. If 1, 3 is on the line, then that means we can plug this point in for, into our equation and it will work. The equation will make sense, right? Because really, this point, 1 is equal to x. That's the x value of the point, And 3 is equal to y. So we have to find the equation where we can plug in x equals 1 and y equals 3, and the equation will be balanced. I'm going to skip right ahead to choice 3, and then I'll go to choice 4. I'll work my way around. So choice 3 is 2x plus y equals 5. Well, if I plug in x, that's 2 times 1 right? Plus y, well y is equal to 3, and there we get it, right? 2 times 1 is 2 plus 3, and this should equal 5, which it does. So this time the answer happens to be 3. You can go around and test all of them, but let me show you one counter example. In choice 4 it says 2x minus y equals 5. If I plug x in, it's 2 times 1 minus 3. Does that equal 5? No, because 2 times 1 is 2, minus 3 is negative 1, and negative 1 does not equal 5. So that means that this point, 1, 3, is not on this line, because we get this equation that's not balanced. So you can always test these out by plugging in the points into your equation, and if the equation is balanced, then yes, it's on that line. Alright, thanks.